Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of Source is going on here in this tarot reading for today. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and, and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Okay. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. It's returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. Okay, as I have said, so shall it be. <coughs> Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here in this tarot reading. We have someone of high honor that could be watching you. Or we have a couple or a family that could be watching you. They're trying to see how something is going to play out. People are living in fear because justice balance is being brought into a situation. They were expecting you to go through some type of tower, some type of ending, but it's not so. You're having victory over your enemies. Uh -huh. This is your enemies thinking, oh, Lord Jesus, maybe I should say enemies, okay? This is your enemy expecting for things to go in the wrong direction for you. Someone was expecting you to fall from grace, lose everything. This Queen of Pentacles here, listen, you all, I really try to be understanding and tolerant of people, but I'm about sick of this woman showing up in my readings. Literally, every reading I do, this Queen of Pentacles is in here. Like, can I do a terror reading, man, without you showing up in it? You have a lot to say. Oh, you've been trying to hide... And you're being exposed. There's something you didn't want people seeing, but uh, yeah, <clears throat> they're seeing it. Okay? You've been pretending to be something you're not. And it's exposed. There's something you are hiding. It's exposed. There's nothing to hide. I'm telling you. You can't hide anymore. And it's, in, and it's keep keeping you trapped in your head. This woman was wanting to steal some type of abundance from someone been stalking you online with a group of people now that balance is being brought into a situation she has the audacity to be living in fear now she knows what being vigilant means <gasps> i have to stay on my toes i have to stay mindful be mindful be cautious it's too late dear you're out here in the reverse you're unstable you're not able to keep something. You thought you were going to steal something from someone and be able to hold on to it. All you did was bring chaos to your whole group, to a group of people, group of karmics. You led people in the wrong direction. They didn't know what you were doing or whatever you promised them is not what they're getting. You may have told these people that they would be able to steal something from an innocent person. They're not able to because the universe is not letting that happen. Even if you did manage to, God forbid, Tofia Kwa, you wouldn't be able to keep it because your energy just does not match what that is. Uh-huh. It just doesn't match. And you're trapped in your head. You're someone very chaotic. I'm telling you. You're someone very chaotic. You're someone very chaotic. You've been trying to hide the truth. You've been trying to hide the truth. And you don't want people seeing this about you. You're trapped in your mind. You lie a lot. You lie about everything. You may be someone that says that you don't even know where someone is. You're not stalking them. You're not watching them. But you do. You do. You do. You're showing up here as a liar. You are showing up here as a liar. You're stuck in something. You can't keep something. I'm trying to get clear. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, baby. You can't keep something. You're working with people behind the scenes to get someone to lose their job. You're losing your job. You're trying to take someone's stability away. You were trying to sneak someone 
to the point where they wouldn't know that they were going to lose their job, get them fired. And you're going through that. You're losing money. You're trapped. You may have legal issues coming in. You're being seen as a liar. You thought you're going to have some type of brand new passionate beginning that was secure for you. You're going to pretend like you knew everything you were doing. Um, apparently, you're unskilled. You're not trustworthy. You're someone non-committal. You're lazy. And you're a thief. You, <laughs> you see this here? You're a thief. This is what you didn't want people seeing about you. You've been stealing from someone else and passing their work off as yours. And you thought this was going to be the most well-kept secret in the history of mankind. But baby girl, you tried it. You should have looked at the energy, studied the energy you were stealing from or was trying to block. This is a pure energy. This is someone with no type of ill intentions when they do kindness, when they give to people, when they heal people. They're not expecting anything in return. They're just genuinely passionate. Just genuinely care about people. Whoever you came for is heavily protected. Even if you cause someone loss, they're protected. The universe is stepping in. Listen, this whole soul, soul mate, whatever, the high, the temperance for me has to do with it being angelic presence in our lives, interjecting on our behalves, protection, love, divine love from our, uh, from higher beings. So I, I try my best not to refer to this as a higher level soulmate. I know that's the commercial uh, acceptance for it. But being, when I see the, in, the temperance energy, what I'm being told is someone is protected. Someone is loved. There's divine intervention taking place for someone. Maybe because, maybe because it's destined to be that way for them. Or there's something going on that they don't have any control over. But something is exposed, someone is exposed, someone is exposed as a liar. And all of the things they've been doing, trying to trap someone, prevent them from having new beginnings. Uh-huh. Someone was advised not to do it, but they're still intending on taking actions to get someone to lose their stability. And the universe is interceding on their behalf. The universe is at will. We want to thank you because we've been trying to remove this person from you as energy. They're not meant to be around energies like yours. You're too karmic. You refuse to heal. You refuse to move on. You're too damaged. We've been patient with you all long enough. Okay? So, whatever this is, honey, know that whoever you're coming for, there's divine intervention always for this person. And they keep showing up as genuine. You could be someone from the past of this person, a mother figure, uh, whoever this is. You could be somebody's wife. Uh, maybe someone worked with you. You have a lot of disappointments coming your way because whoever you are coming after or are coming after, you, you picked the wrong one. You picked the wrong one. Okay, you picked the wrong one. Whoever you've been trying to mislead sees the truth about you and they're trying to manifest a new beginning somewhere else. They're sick of you. They are sick of you. Someone sees you for exactly who you are. It's a oh, dang, that's what I've been putting up with? That guy literally chose you over a divine being? Dang. You know, like those witches in the movies, they have like their customs that they wear so they can fit into society and they walk around looking like other humans and things like that, just regular humans. And some of them, the features that they pick, you see them, you say, wow, she's very beautiful. And then when it's at nighttime and the witches are howling and they take those masks off and things like that and all you see back there is a monstrosity you wish you had never seen. Yeah, there's a masculine going through there right now. He's seeing this queen of pentacles for who she is. And he don't like what he sees. It's a repulsive sight for him. And she, I don't know if she knows it. She may not know it. And he's walking away. He's like, uh-uh. That is not what I would thought. That is not what it was in the beginning. You lied to me. I thought you were beautiful. 
Do you mean this is you? Oh no, I'm not into dating monsters. 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 <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't know why low vibrational just came in my head. This man sees this woman as low vibrational. He sees her as low vibrational. He sees her as very pathetic. Dang. I mean, he went from working with this woman. He's been advised to separate himself from this woman. He may have given the wrong offer. He gave the right offer to the wrong person. He's been working with the wrong person. And something he did or she did interfere with his finances. Her money is funny. Like mine's here. <laughs> it's okay, sister. Our money is funny together. Except I didn't do anything malicious for my money to be funny. You did. <laughs> you did something for yours to be funny. He may have lost money working with this woman. Now he's trying to manifest some type of new beginning, wants to come in and give an offer to someone else. Someone is praying to God that they can have a second chance at a new life somewhere else. He wants to heal. He may be traveling to come towards you, collective, to mend things. Maybe this is your ancestors intervening. Someone wants to come in as their true self now. He was pretending to be something in the past. So you could be aware of who this king of swords is, by the way. He wants to come as himself now. Whatever this is, he did something to you in the past. He was working with the ox. So you're going to have to choose if you want to work with this person. And your ancestors keep coming in here talking about, yeah, you're supposed to work with this person. Ancestors, whose side are you on? Come on. Exactly. Let us leave this person out in the cold. This Five of Pentacles is letting me know that there's something people are trying to do behind the scenes to interfere with someone's stability. They don't want you receiving offers or some type of good message and things like that. Your angels are all over it. They are all over it. They're like, you know, this again? I thought we took care of this already. I thought we took care of this already and you all are still out here trying to make somebody be destabilize try to dismantle someone's life you know what since that's what you, that's the energy you're putting out your wish is granted except it's coming back to you okay someone someone's i don't know if it's your your soul mid twin whatever he is there's a masculine in here that's losing a lot too he worked with the ops and he thought he was going to get away with something it's like someone wants to come in and apologize for causing illusions about your character. That's what this masculine wants to do. He says, yeah, uh-huh. It's a whole lot of, whole lot of characters working together. Someone is trying to manifest some type of recollection, rec reconciliation. Thank you. Some type of reconciliation with you. Say, hey, I'm so sorry. I didn't know what was going on. I was part of this, you know character assassination, whatever this is. I was part of the whole shenanigans of having, of smearing your character, letting, telling people that you were in the reverse, you are not a healer, you are fake and all of that. Uh-huh, okay? Yeah, how we tried to end you, have you on a live, work with the emperor and things like that. Seems that whatever they've been planning for you is what's happening to them. Because this emperor may not be doing too well. He He's the one that's been planning behind the scenes. Someone has the money. Someone has the plan. Someone has the money. Someone has the brains. And it's all been working. Someone's not doing well behind the scenes. They're not doing well. I'm telling you. Someone's not doing well behind the scenes. Having a hard time recovering. But they're overworking themselves. They maybe have... Someone may be having some type of surgery behind the scenes. Yeah, they're having a hard time recovering. Oh, I don't know what this is. 
for some some type of ending coming for an emperor energy i don't know i don't know emperors are not supposed to be in these kind of energies where they're working to end someone but you know nowadays we have a lot of fake emperors out here the only thing that's yeah uh-huh fake emperors and empresses they spend most of their time trying to end other people steal from other people on a live people apparently and it's like every time they try to manifest an ending for you it happens to them someone health someone is not doing well they may not be able to recover honestly and he still has to work or he's still trying to work make it to the end to destroy someone dang he's working with someone behind the scenes on empress energy this could be his wife his child's mother he could be working with someone's mother he's working against an empress as well he's working with one empress against another empress to destroy the other empress hmm and he's not doing too well. And he doesn't understand why he's not able to recover. Oh, shocking surprise. Is that really like a, is it like rocket science? Why you're not able to recover? Let's play Blue's Clues and see why you're not able to recover, sir. Oh, let me see. Does it have to do anything with the energy you're coming up against? Like they didn't do anything to you? Would it, might it have something to do with that? That you're working overtime to end someone that did nothing to you? Uh-huh. Working overtime to end someone that you want to have someone flat out destroy. You don't want them working. You don't want them being seen as someone that's pure. You don't want the truth being seen about them. That's why you're having a hard time recovering. Mm, okay. Yep. And you people have the audacity to be upset because someone is defending themselves out here. So people should just sit back and just take mess from you all right you can lie all you want try to destroy people but the moment they decide to defend themselves you're offended oh it's offensive it's offensive it's offensive for you all that's offensive that's offensive that's offensive to you all <laughs> Please don't tell me you all have been out here trying to block some, block uh, two people from coming together. What does two people coming together have to do with you all? What does two people coming together have to do with you all? Are you that miserable in life? Are you that miserable in life? Oh, my Lord. You people have done everything and you're not tired yet. You're not tired yet. This 10 of Wands is telling me that you all are overloaded. You've been told to put down your swords because this is your future if you don't. If you're done put down your swords, your futures are not looking too bright. This empress you are trying to come after. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry to break your hearts. It's not happening. You all need to regroup. Try to figure out why you're so focused on destroying one character. Mm -hmm. Try to figure out why you're so focused on destroying one character. And you've done everything. Trying to hide your plans, sneak this person. Someone is waiting for the right time to come in and take the last, make the last move. 
And that last move is going to be the end of you. You, the karmic. Whoever is making that last move, this is your energy afterwards. Losing everything. Losing everything. Mm-hmm. Everything. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. You have people walking away from you, not wanting to participate in whatever it is you all are doing anymore. You all are fighting behind the scenes with one another, burning as heck because two people are still connecting. You have a whole emperor that has decided to fix his life. I don't know if it's the same one that's sick. There's someone in here that's sick. There's someone in here that wants to reconnect with someone else. There's an emperor that wants to connect with an empress energy. These people are showing up as a match. As a match. They're both recovering from something. This empress is recovering from betrayal. This emperor may be trying to recover from some type of illness. Someone may have done you something. Or I don't know if this is you in your mind a lot. Mm-hmm. This is a hot mess. Hotmess.com.net.org. No dot gov. GOV don't be fooling with us around here. My goodness. You're coming for an energy. They started up in this energy. They're ending up in this energy. That should tell you something. You try to have this person in prison, try to get them trapped in their mind, have them isolated, try to pin them up as a pin them out as a liar. You try to say they were on scale. You try to have this person trapped in their mind, confused, isolated, all kinds of stuff. And the whole time you were doing all of that, that person was behind the scenes healing. You wanted someone to feel isolated and bothered by what people thought of them, said to them, said about them. Someone does not care. See, that's the difference between people that are healed and people that are not healed. People that are not healed care about what other, others think of them, say to them. The healed ones, they don't care. You can say it 10,000 times, yell it from the, mount, from the tops of Mount Everest, and they don't care. They're still going to walk out every day like nothing happened because they don't care. In their world, you don't exist. You all care about what people think of you. That's why you think the tactics you've been doing were going to work on someone. Remember, you are the unhealed one. Healed people don't even go out of their way to do things like that. So maybe those tactics worked on you all and that's why you're in that mindset. Whoever this is, this empress that you all are trying to destroy, their mind doesn't work that way. This is one of the things they had to come into alignment with to be in this energy, not caring what people think of you. Hello. Some empresses are just empresses because they have children. But the ones that are actually empresses, regardless of the fact that they have children, they don't care. They don't care what you think of them. They don't care who you go talk to, what kind of information you have on them. They don't care one bit. And you are a bother because you, you're not able to destroy someone with your words, your rejection of them. They don't care and it bothers you. How are you trying to destroy someone, but you are you are going through more destruction than they are? Like you're trying to hurt someone, but you're hurting more than they are. Hmm? How? Like this is you all, your energy. This is you all. You see that? You see how chaotic you are? are? Look at this empress. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Let me bring it up closer so the Carmex can see. Look at the look at this. This is the Empress, and that's you all. Their sisters looking majestic, modest, calm, royalty at its best. Right? Very subtle. And then here you all go. Ah! I feel like I can hear the sticks knocking against against each other. Why are you all this burden about two people connecting? That's what I want to know. This is all for money? Why are you all this burden about two people coming together? I'm really, I'm really trying to make sense of it. Because never in my life have I ever give a dime, a penny, a a quarter, a nickel, nothing about who's getting with who, who's dating who. I don't care. That don't got nothing to do with me. So why is it that you all care so much? The world will never know, will they? Because you two are, you all are too embarrassed to even order what that, to even let it out of your mouth. You're too embarrassed. Because it don't make no sense. It's too, it's too pathetic to let out, is what I just heard. The reason why you all don't want two people to come together is just too pathetic. Too pathetic. Dang. It's that bad. It's that bad. Is that bad? You all want that people questioning someone's sanity, someone's work, and every action you took, the universe stepped in to protect that person. Someone's character is solid. The people they're going to be working with are not going to have any types of questions about this person's character. You won't be able to destroy this person at all. You all are about to be looking just as pathetic as you've always been, as you'll always be. Pathetic. I've been seeing a lot of eights and fours and nines and tens. Protection, abundance, completion. But Nito, I'm telling you. I said for Nito. And zero came out, which has to do with fresh start. Something is over and something new is beginning. A fresh start. Mm -hmm. A fresh start in luck and abundance. Zero, fresh start, new beginning, optimistic, enthusiastic, open-minded, open-hearted, direct connection to source, back to the basics, right? You are one with the creator. <laughs> That's a direct connection to source, right? You are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. I am a creator. Seven, seven, seven. Okay. Th uh, 21, which is what? Three. Celebration. Matrimony. Harvest. Okay. Bounty. Friendship, new alliances. Your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or bring or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. I am in the flow. Absolutely. 10. Completion. 
You have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details, then direct others how to carry things out. I am ingenious. Anyways, thank you for watching Collective. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.